good afternoon and welcome to the part 2 of this uh, video now we talked about the quanta of change in uh, velocity which is you know uh, v2 minus v1 or v final minus v initial and you divide it by the time it took to change the velocity now if you notice this graph it's a straight line of v versus t which is inclined at an angle theta with the x axis and this is in you know first quadrant and uh, you can see the velocity is increasing because at t equal to 0 the velocity is v naught and after t seconds the velocity becomes v right so it's it's on a path of progression the velocity is increasing over time period so we can clearly say you know it's it's a accelerated motion the velocity increases so in uniform acceleration you know, assuming the body's velocity is increasing the graph is a straight line it is neither parallel to x-axis neither it is and nor is it parallel to y-axis it's you know it's a line which is inclined at an angle theta with the time axis right and it's a straight line so this is the way you calculate the slope of this line is is you know take the perpendicular of the triangle and then take the base of the triangle you divide the two what you guess get is change in velocity divided by the time and that is what is called as acceleration tan theta right so straight line the slope is constant throughout no change in the slope slope is nothing but acceleration and therefore it is called uniformly accelerated motion because the slope does not change throughout the motion for a vt graph thank you